Assalamu alaikum alaykum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Netflix's new terrifying docu-series Pandemic has dropped just as a new terrifying virus has landed in our real life. While this new virus dominates news headlines, Netflix is streaming its six-part series on how to prevent an outbreak. A hundred years ago, a deadly influenza virus infected hundreds of millions of people, somewhere in the order of 50 to 100 million deaths. We talk about another flu pandemic happening. It's not a matter of if, but when. This Netflix docuseries, Pandemic, How to Prevent an Outbreak, illustrates how the Islamic ritual washing known as wudu may help spread a good hygiene message. SubhanAllah. The series focuses on Syria Madad, a Muslim public health specialist in a New York hospital who takes a break to say her prayers at the Islamic Center of New York University. Before entering the prayer room, Madad stops to perform wudu and washes her mouth and face as well as her feet. Islam's emphasis on cleanliness in general beyond just purifying the body for prayer is quite well known. Also, the prescription to eat pure food Avoid the impure is a theme mentioned throughout the Quran. Wadu is to be performed as was done by the Prophet Muhammad in a specific order before praying which takes place five times a day. Before each prayer, Muslims are expected to wash themselves in a certain order. Like starting from hands, then mouth, nose, face, forearms, hair and ears and finally their ankles and feet. People are reminded over and again by news and media to limit physical contact, wash hands and avoid touching their face. Allah mentions in the Quran to keep clean, make wudu throughout the day and even before going to bed at night. Subhanallah. Whenever you go to bed, perform ablution like that for the prayer. The Prophet Muhammad said, when one of you awakens from sleep, do not let him dip his hand into vessel until he washes them three times. Verily, he does not know where his hand spent the night. Allahu Akbar. We should pray for our all brothers and sisters who are in crisis due to the outbreak of this virus and we should take all the necessary precautions to save ourselves. One of the most important step in doing so is keeping our hands clean which we will be automatically doing if we decide to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Brothers and sisters, it is our duty to minutely follow the teachings of our Prophet Muhammad as they are not only the sunnah but the correct way of living. It has become vital for us to maintain hygiene as the ones abstaining from cleanliness are getting affected from the disease. Whatever the Quran and our religion teach is the ultimate lesson to be followed. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep ourselves purified in and out. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveal a solution to this outbreak soon. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.